Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Ann and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this really smoky green eye look. For today's makeup look, I used a lot of products from this brand Makeup Studio. This is a makeup brand from the Netherlands. They are based in Amsterdam and I went to their headquarters um, this week and I could pick out some makeup that I wanted to try. So this is the look that I made using their products and I have to say I really like how it turned out. Um, I also used um, their highlighter, their blush, their lip gloss and yeah I think everything worked really fine. So yeah in today's video I'm going to show you how I created this so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like always, is priming my eyelids and I'll be using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pots. And I'm gonna use this all over my eyelids. I actually am using a different brush than I normally use. I just wanted to try if it will work, but then I just switched to the normal brush I always use, which is the P84 from Sigma Beauty. And I'm just pressing this all over my eyelids so everything is covered on my eye. So now I'm applying some eyeshadow guards. This will leave me with a very sharp edge at the outer end and also it will pick up a little bit fallout that I might have. Now for today's video I'm gonna play with Makeup Studio products for my eyes and I'm gonna start with that light green color. Well it's not super light, it's like a medium in between kind of green with a really gorgeous fresh undertone. And I will put all the names of the exact eyeshadows in the description bar because um, this is not like an existing palette. These are just individual eyeshadows that they put like in a palette. So I will put all the names in the description bar in case you're curious like what the shades are. So I'm just blending this all over my crease going back and forth. And the brush I'm using is from Sigma Beauty. It's a E40 brush and I use this in almost every video. This is like a perfect brush to start with blending. Then now I'm going to use a little bit of black eyeliner and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids. In today's video I am going for a smoky eye and when you want your smoky eye to be as black as possible it's really nice to use a eyeliner as a base because eyeliner is always super pigmented, super black so this is perfect to use as a base for your smoky eye. So I applied most product like right on my eyelid and then around the edges I am going to kind of go upwards with my brush and then go downwards and this way it will look more blended because I don't want the edges to be really harsh because even though I am going in with some black eyeshadow after doing this um, it will always be a lot harder if your edge is super harsh and not really blended out to blend it out with eyeshadow it's best to like do this straight away with the eyeliner itself it will make it a lot more easier if you go in with black eyeshadow and then blend it around the edges so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm taking a black eyeshadow from makeup studio uh, which is just a matte black eyeshadow and i'm gonna take a very tiny blending brush and i'm just gonna blend this around the edges going up a little bit upward so the black eyeshadow kind of blends into the green which is already in my crease So now I'm going to take a mixture of that bright green color and that little bit more darker green. Well, it's not really darker, but it has a totally different undertone. So I'm just blending both of these shades on my brush and I'm going to blend those around the edges as well. Um, this way it will blend more into that green which was already in my crease. I feel like whenever you want like a really nice transition, you always have to go back in with lighter shades after using darker shades just to make everything look more blended out and more yeah just basically more blended out i feel like blending is the most important then now i'm gonna take a little bit of that um yeah it kind of looks like a really weird color but this is how you how it looks when you swatch it on your finger it's like a really dark color with a very subtle golden kind of green shade 
of sparkle in it it's really beautiful so i'm gonna press that all over the eyelid just to give my eyelids a really slight sparkle because i feel like i have done a smoky eye which was green and black already so just to make it a bit more different i thought it would be cool to use like this sparkle all over the eyelid then now i'm going back in with some eyeliner even though my eyelid is already super black um, I still want to go in with a bit of eyeliner to create a wing. I feel like this makes such a big difference because, um, yeah, I basically just noticed this from experience. I feel like if I would just keep it like this, um, it would look less pretty than if I would go in with eyeliner. But it's optional. You don't have to do this, but I feel like it just makes everything look even better. So I am going to create a wing and for this I'm using a very tiny brush which is an eyeliner brush also from Makeup Studio. And the eyeliner is from Maybelline. Um, I will put the name in the description bar. It's the same I use in almost every video. Then I'm taking a little bit of concealer. The one I'm using is from Revolution. Gonna apply this right underneath where I just created that wing just to clean up the edges. And this will make it look really sharp and defined. I feel like whenever you go for a wing, this is definitely a step you don't want to skip because this will make your wing look so much better then from a waterline i'm taking this black pencil from makeup studio gonna apply this all over my waterline to make my eyes look even more smoky you can also go for a white pencil in your waterline or a nude pencil if you want your eyes to look a bit more bigger or give this whole eye look a different twist you can also go in with a pencil with like a green color or anything like that but for today i just wanted to keep it smoky but now I'm going back in with that black eyeshadow from Makeup Studio with a very tiny brush. And I'm going to press this right underneath the lower lash line. Also a little bit on top of the waterline. This way the waterline and the lower lash line will look as black as possible. So don't be afraid to go a little bit on top of your waterline. Um, this will not hurt or anything. Then now I'm taking that vibrant green color again and I'm going to use that to blend out my lower lash line. And I'm just going to sweep my brush back and forth trying to blend that green into that black eyeshadow. So those eyeshadows will melt together. Then I'm taking that pearly shade which I don't really know what color it is but it, I think it kind of reflects like this really gorgeous pearly green golden color which I thought would be perfect to use for my, for my inner corner. I wanted to say one line, but no, that's not the case. <laughs> it's the inner corner area. So I'm just applying it right there to give it that pop of highlight. Then now for my mascara, I'm taking this mascara, which is also from Makeup Studio. This is the 4D mascara. And I'm using this for my upper lashes and also for my lower lashes. And I actually found this mascara really nice. It really made my lower lashes super long and it separated the hairs really nicely, which I really like. Then now for my fake lashes, I'm taking these lashes from Flutter Lashes, which are quite dramatic. But I mean, the eye look is also really dramatic. So I thought these will be perfect for today's look. So I'm just applying them with some tweezers. And for those who wonder, I used some lash glue from House of Lashes which is a really good lash glue and it really makes sure that your lashes will stay in place. Okay, so the eyes are now finished and I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face. I have already applied foundation and concealer and powder to set it in place, but I haven't used bronzer, highlighter or blush or anything like that. For today's video, I also want to try out some products from Makeup Studio, which are for the face. For example, this highlighter, which I think is really beautiful. It looks like this. I just want to kind of play around with these products and see how they work for me. But I'm first going to bronze my face and for that I'm using my all-time favorite bronzer which is the Revolution Ultra Bronze and I'm taking my Morphe and Jack on Hill G802 brush to apply this. So I also want to apply a little bit underneath my jawline to make it look a little bit more snatched. So for this, I'm taking this brush from Real Techniques. This is the contour brush and I'm just dipping it in the bronzer and then I'm going to blend it like right underneath my jawline. So by doing this, this will give a little bit more definition to your jawline, which kind of makes your face look a little bit tinier. I feel like normally my face kind of disappears into my neck. And now you kind of create a um, 
yeah, how do you say it? I have no idea, but hopefully that makes sense. Um, I really feel like this makes a huge difference. Then now to give my face a little bit of glow, I'm taking this Makeup Studio highlighter. And this one is called the Mystic Desert. It looks like a little bit of a really soft golden color, which I think is really beautiful. And I'm taking this brush from Morphe. It doesn't really have a name on it. I believe this was from a special collection. I'm just going to dip my brush in here. Okay, that's really beautiful. It's like a very subtle golden highlight, but not too golden. I think it's really beautiful and I am using this brush, which is quite big. You can use a tinier one, spray a little bit of um, fixing spray to give it that really intense highlight if you like. But lately, I really like to use this brush. It gives me more of a very soft highlight, which I am more into lately. But just for the sake to see how it's gonna look, I am gonna use a little bit of setting spray to see how we can make it look when it's a little bit more intenser. Also, it's not looking very like powdery or glittery. I think it's really pretty. So now I'm taking this brush from Morphe, which is the Morphe R36, applying a little bit of setting spray on it. And then I'm gonna back in that same highlighter That's beautiful. Oh my god. Let me know like what your first thoughts are. Do you think it's pretty? I think it really is and I think it will be so beautiful when the sun shines. Like I'm from the Netherlands so during these um, months there's not a lot of sun unfortunately but I think it starts like being a little bit more sunny around April or May. So I have to wait for a few months, but I can't wait to wear this when the sun shines. I think it's gonna be beautiful. Then now for my blush, I'm also using a product from Makeup Studio and this one is in the shade 36. It kind of looks like a peachy kind of color, which I really love when it comes to blush. I'm either wearing pink or peachy, always one of those. And this is how it looks. I think it's really beautiful. So I'm gonna apply this on the apples of my cheeks. I feel like this blush really gives me that freshness in my face that I needed. It was a little bit like all the same color and this just makes it all look a little bit more fresh. I was at a store where they sell NYX and this lip pencil is normally always out of stock. I think this is a dupe for the MAC Strip Down lip pencil and NYX Cosmetics is obviously a lot more affordable so there was only one left so I took it because this is just a really beautiful color and I would definitely recommend it to you because it's just affordable and a really nice color to use in combination with nude lipsticks. So this is how the lip liner looks. It's just a really neutral kind of shade. I can't really describe it. I think it's like a really neutral brown, but not too brown. I don't know, but it's really beautiful. So now on top of that, I'm taking this Makeup Studio Lip Gloss. And this one is like a really beautiful nude color in the shade Truly Nude. And then this is how the lip gloss looks. I think it's really beautiful. It's definitely a color that I would normally wear. It's not too light, it's not too dark. It's like the perfect nude color with like a pinky undertone. And you guys know I love a nude with a pinky undertone. So I'm really loving today's makeup. If you're curious what foundation and concealer I used, I will put it down in the description bar in case you're curious. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of today's look. Are you liking it? Are you gonna recreate it? If you are gonna recreate it, make sure you post it in your Instagram story and tag me. This is my username and I would love to see your recreation. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. 
and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye! What you did was meaningless What's the point of your coldness? I cannot sleep with your eyes on